Welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn about directory scan overhead. I'll explain you a scenario and try to understand what is directory scan overhead, in what kind of scenario it happens and how to handle that. So let's start. To help you understand the directory scan overhead scenario, I have created a notebook. It's available in Python and Scala. For this lecture, I'll be using Python notebook. Uh, but you can use Scala, same code. There is no difference related to the language for this problem and its solution. So let's come to the directory scan problem notebook. And let me connect my cluster. And before I start explaining you, let me run this guy. So while I'm explaining the scenario, we have the benchmark already executed. So let me start with a scenario. My team has built a Spark job. They are running it. It's taking way long than expected. So they did some analysis. They figured out what is taking a lot of time and then came up with their observations. So what uh, observation they have is that we have a partitioned table. So they have a table which is partitioned on some columns and they are reading data from the partitioned table. We are reading very small amount of data using filters on the partitioned columns. What does it mean? Uh, the data may be huge on the table, but they have a filter condition on that table and that filter condition is expected to result, result a very tiny amount of data. Maybe let's say you have 15 GB of data, but you are reading maybe 100 MB out of it. Very small amount of data due to that filter condition. And team is smart. They know the filter condition works best if those filter conditions are applied on the partitioned column so that Spark can push down the filter condition to the storage layer and read only a small amount of data that you want to read. So they have uh, also taken care of that. The point is we are reading very small amount of data using filters on the partitioned columns. Right. However, the query is taking unexpectedly long time, maybe five, seven minutes to read 100 MB of data only. Right. So that's the problem. And this is a very common problem. I hear this a lot. A lot of people will come that we are running one job. There is one particular query or one data frame expression, uh, which is kind of select a star from XYZ table where some filter uh, and the result is very small, 100 MB, 10 MB, 5 MB of data. It's only reading only 5 MB of data, but it's taking a huge amount of time. It is taking one hour, two hour kind of time. What is happening? 